Hi, welcome to my Prime Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is an unboxing of Art Oracle's deck. Um, I've bought this second hand, so it might not necessarily be in the order that you normally buy them, so they would go through. It's just a quick flick through to have a quick look. So this is obviously the Art Oracle's deck. As you can see, it's got gilding on the title and the front of the box and the embossed pattern. It's like that linen texture material. There's the side of the box. The top, change your life with art, consult the oracles today. It's got 50 cards in it. Until I saw this second hand, I didn't know that this actually existed. So um, I'm quite impressed that I found this. Um, consult your life with art, consult the oracles today. So obviously it's the art oracle. There's all the details for the back. It's a lift top box. There you go. So the inside of the box is just this grey paper. It's like sugar paper kind of texture pattern to it. Okay, there are names on here that I'm not going to be able to pronounce. As you know, I'm really quite bad at pronouncing things sometimes. So there we go. This is the Guide to the Art Oracle. It's a lovely stitched book, actually. Stitched spine book. Um, Written by Katia Tilvich. And illustrated by Mikhail Sommer. So obviously it's got up there. So um, meet the oracles. And then obviously it's got a picture and a bit about it. So Leonardo da Vinci, Albrecht Dürer, Michelangelo, Titian, Caravaggio, Artemisia, Gentileschi. I'm really bad at names. <laughs> really bad. So each one's got a picture and then obviously who it is. There. Let's have a look. So it goes through them all. Vincent van Gogh. Pablo Picasso. The Roya. Duchamp. Goes through all of them. Tracy Emin and Damien Hurst. So there you go. It's got the oracles. We're written written by obviously their details on the back. Let's have a look. What does it say for each one? Uh, hmm. I don't know quite how that works as an oracle, but we'll have a look. That's obviously a bit of description for each card as you go through and how you use it. The back of the card is like this Art Oracles design, the same as the back of the booklet. Let's have a look. So you've got Albrecht Dürer. One man's outbreak is another man's breakthrough. Know your perspective and apocalypse then. Appropriate for current times with coronavirus, clearly. <laughs> um, okay, Aligo Botelli, Bot Boti. I'm, I'm really not going to be good at pronouncing these already. Andy Warhol, my daughter's studying him at school, or was until school's closed this week. I Weiwei, we, we, Artem, Artemisia Gentileschi. I don't know how to pronounce these. Buckminster Fuller. Caravaggio. Charles and Ray Eames. Cindy Sherman. Damien Hurst. Diane Arbus. Edward Munch. Munk. Even. Filippo Mar Marinetti, Frances Francisco Goya, Frida Kahlo, Georgia O'Keeffe, Gilbert and George, Grayson Perry, Gustav Corbett, Corbet, Corbett, Gustav Klimt, Henry Matisse, Matisse. Jackson Pollock, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Basquiat, I don't know how to say that, 
John Cocteau, Jeff Coons, JMW Turner, one of the great British greats, uh, Joseph Bays, Bays Boys, Le Cabossier, Leonardo da Vinci, Louise Bourgeois, Marcel Duchamp, Marina Abramovich, Michelangelo, Mies van der Rohe, de Roya, Orlan, Pablo Picasso, Paul Gauguin, they are going in that box, Piet Mondrian, could be wrong, Rem Koolhaas, Kool Koolhaas, Salvador Dali, Sonia Delone, Sophie Kahl, Titian, Tracy Emin, Vincent van Gogh, Wassily Kadinsky, William Blake, William Morris, Yayoi Kasa Kasama, and Eves Klein. Obviously, it confused me a bit with the booklet because the, the oracle bits are down below. Um, and if I look in the booklet, um, it says on the front, if I'd actually read it properly, the oracle offers advice drawn from the three key elements in the artist's lives. Choose a card to consult the oracles and change your... So this one is life, this one is work, and that is inspiration. So clearly I should have read that properly before I flicked through the cards and looked very confused how it was going <laughs> to, and even the booklet before it was going to apply. I kind of like that. I think I might pull one of those each day, especially at the moment. I need a bit of inspiration and and I need to journal more. I've decided that I'm going to do a daily hour each day, write oracle, uh, journey, pull cards, self-care, just an hour to myself because we're all going to be locked down in a minute, which is going to be not fun having done it for the last week because my daughter had symptoms but anyway um it's a lovely deck the card stock let's have a look at the card stock i put it away before i did my usual thing the card stock is smooth they're actually smooth i thought it'd be linen like the box but they're not they're smooth they're slightly they're probably about the size of the good tarot Oops, sorry i've just knocked the it's on charge i've just knocked the wire um the artwork is beautiful. I love it. It's kind of like the, the font is kind of almost like Rider Waite Smith esque um, the cards, but as they say, they're about as big as your palm. They're smooth, matte, quite thick, not not too bendy, but has a bit of bend to it. I love it. It's it's quite a cute deck actually. Even if it wasn't specifically for oracles, I would probably keep it because it's really nice and I can learn about a little bit about each artist each day so I might use that to like study um have a look more into the artist how to pronounce their names properly would probably be a good thing um and obviously look at their style of art and take inspiration from that and it'll be an uh, something I can do with the kids each day we can do that for like our art project invest like research artists and have a look at their works and maybe try and emulate their work It'd be quite cool and then apply the lessons that are on it anyway I hope that's shown you what you want from the art oracles deck um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.